This Chinese banker had a big apartment full of luxury goods, but it left her feeling so empty. Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. Is it possible to have too much money? If you have massive student loan debt, the answer is probably no. But if you're a corrupt Chinese Communist Party member, the answer might just be yes. It happens when you have so much money, you can't spend it, because then people would get suspicious. Yet, people keep bribing you with more and more money. And if you turn it down, people will also get suspicious. So what's a poor Communist Party member to do? The answer is, buy a second apartment to hide all your luxury goods. That's what happened to Chinese banker Wang Li. From the young age of 17, hardworking Li had successfully climbed her way into the Chinese Communist Party as secretary and eventually chair of the Bank of Qinghai. Most recently, she held the role of Deputy Director of the Qinghai Provincial Local Financial Supervision Administration. That job included regulating financial institutions to make sure they're not corrupt. And along the way, she accepted a huge amount of bribes. Li took advantage of her position as Chairman and President of Qinghai Bank to embezzle public funds. The amount was so large, she may have suffered a mental breakdown from too much power and greed. Wang Li took herself to be more like a private boss. She compared herself with her associates, who were bosses of private enterprises, and that caused a psychological imbalance. Li had surrounded herself with the heads of various financial corporations, and watched as they spent lavish amounts of money. And since she had invested most of her working life to the development of Qinghai Bank, she got the idea that the bank's money was basically her own. Li began accepting whatever bribes came her way, whether it was money or luxury goods. And she even took out loans from Qinghai Bank that she never paid back. It got to the point where she had to buy a separate apartment without her husband's knowledge just so she could have a place to hide all of the luxury goods she'd accepted. Eventually, she got caught and the Central Commission for Discipline and Inspection made a video exposing her secret life, including her apology slash forced confession. The possessions that Wang Li accumulated included piles of watches, gold bars, stacks of US dollars, as well as jars of a local Qinghai province treasure, musk. If you're wondering what musk is, it's the dry secretions of mature musk deer males, located in the glands between the belly button and the genitals. And it was once used as a raw material for perfume. Yes, rich people want to smell like the glands of a dead deer. Unless they want to smell like whale poop. And just like whale poop, musk is very expensive. Musk deer are an endangered species, and the trade in musk is highly regulated. So Wang Li had her musk, but couldn't do anything with it except keep it in a jar. Just like her feelings. Wang Li also kept a hidden safe in her apartment, which supposedly contained keys to other safes that held information about her corrupt associates. But Wang Li's secret apartment was a sanctuary only she could enjoy. She had an entire dresser stocked with luxury brand silk scarves each worth upwards of 600 US dollars. Plus, a closet full of more than 40 famous name brand bags estimated to be worth more than $60,000. But as I mentioned, Wang Li had a problem. She could not actually enjoy the luxury items she received over the years because she was too scared to be seen outside of the house wearing them. <laughs> So she just stand alone in front of the mirror wearing her favorite silk scarves? Does luxury really mean anything 
if you can't show it off. In her final repentance video, this is what Wang Li had to say. <laughs> Xiao 没有了灵魂和脊柱, Poor, rich Wang Li is hardly alone. The scale of corruption among Chinese Communist Party members is hard to imagine. We know a little bit from videos like this one that come out from time to time. We also showed you one a few weeks ago about the Chinese official who had a hundred mistresses and three metric tons of secret cash. One little slip up and you're done. Like this guy, Yang Da Tsai, a local official who was caught on camera back in 2012 wearing luxury wristwatches. Chinese netizens started calling him Brother Wristwatch. And then he was sentenced to 14 years in prison for corruption. Yeah, that's why Wang Li only wore her fancy scarves in her secret apartment. But Wang Li and Brother Wristwatch are only the few people who get caught or get taken down in anti-corruption campaigns. And there are lots more who don't get caught. But that doesn't mean they're living the good life. What good is money and luxury if you're living in fear that one day you'll be the next Wang Li? And this is the problem with the Communist Party. A lot of high-ranking Chinese officials are extremely rich. For example, China's National People's Congress has 93 billionaires and countless millionaires. But since so many of them got their money through corrupt means, they can be taken down at any time if they fall out of favor. And that's one reason why they have to do whatever the Communist Party tells them. It's a tough life. And now it's time for me to answer a question from a viewer who supports China Uncensored on Patreon. Leslie Soul asks, with Gavin Newsom, governor of California, having completed a $1 billion mask deal with China, and Dianne Feinstein having had a Chinese spy on her payroll for years, what other connections do you think might exist between California leadership and China and or the CCP? Well, Leslie, there are lots of connections, not just the people you mentioned. There's a long string of San Francisco mayors connected with China, as well as other politicians. For example, current San Francisco mayor London Breed, pictured here with the Chinese Consul General. In February last year, Chinese state-run media praised her for hosting Chinese New Year at City Hall and inviting the Consul General. He pledged to work with San Francisco to bolster its ties with Shanghai. And later, London Breed said that photos of China locking up its own people during COVID helped convince her to lock down San Francisco. Because the China model really screamed success. Now some California politicians simply don't understand the nature of the Chinese Communist Party. They think they're dealing with a normal government, and such and such trade sounds like a good deal but they're actually dealing with a gangster regime. And it affects policy. Like when the California state legislature shelved a resolution that would have supported Falun Gong because they got pressure from the Chinese consulate. Falun Gong is a spiritual group that's persecuted in China. They're beaten and often sent to labor camps to be killed for their organs. Or as the California legislature would say, good job, California. It's not just California, though. For years, the Chinese Communist Party has spent a lot of effort trying to get local and state officials on their side. After all, a local California city councilman one day could get elected to Congress. So it's a great idea to start spying on him early. In fact, 
Maybe I should do an episode about how the Chinese Communist Party targets local U.S. officials. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments below. Thanks for your question, Leslie. Be like Leslie and support China Uncensored through the crowdfunding website Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash China Uncensored to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.